Hey there, I'm Jared Jeffrey, and today I'm effectively going to tell you a story. But first, I wanted to thank Private Property for having me back after the Real Estate Industry Summit. And what we're going to talk about today really is the impact that social media has had on my business, how you can leverage it to catapult your success whilst building your personal brand along the way. But for it to make any sense, We've got to start back at the beginning. When did I start? What was the industry like at that stage? What did I compare it to? And how consistency over time made a big difference, more so today than whilst I began posting, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. So if we look at it, February 2015, I just resigned from my job. I had no idea what I was going to do. And maybe to contextualize that a little bit, the job I resigned from was really to help temporarily at a friend's dad's company that sort of became permanent, but ultimately didn't feel like it was for me. So the next sort of best thing that I'd been around for a while was real estate. I'd work show houses, uh, used to answer at the front desk for a popular brand in the area. So I was familiar with the area, familiar with the industry. I sat down with my then broker owner and she said, look, Jared, why don't you come give it a whack? Let's start on Monday. So I said, perfect. Went away for my final weekend. Come Monday, walked through the door, excited, enthusiastic. I had no idea what to do, but there was training provided, granted. So I got the scripts. It was... Jared, you've got to tell everybody you know that you're now in real estate, if they're thinking of buying or selling, or if they know anyone looking to buy or sell, you're the guy to contact. And I thought, that's fantastic. I'm going to go downstairs to the pick and pay. I'm going to bump into strangers. I'm going to say, hey, I'm Jared. And I froze. <laughs> it was so easy doing the role playing in the training room. But when it came face to face, because it wasn't something I'd continuously done, it was frightening. So being a 22 year old, sort of technologically inclined, how did I spread the message without having to see people or see people yet? I could get it out there if they liked it, fantastic. If they commented even great, if I got a phone call, that would have been the answer. So I put it on Facebook and I said, hey everyone, just to let you know, I've now started in real estate. If you ever know anyone looking to buy or sell, I'm never too busy for their call. And what happened? Nothing. <laughs> I think the three likes and congratulations from family, friends that were all in Joburg and didn't really directly impact um, the business yet. So the next best thing I thought of, well, what happens if I offer an incentive? Um, agents do it between themselves, between offices within the brand externally. I thought, well, I'll give commission to anybody that prefers me. Did it work? Not really. Um, again, the same family, friends, I thought, well, how does that work? And I'll let people know. But again, there was nobody in my immediate sphere of influence that was going to help. So 2016, well, 2015, heading into 2016 was tough. Um, I think I had one sale to chalk up, which was okay. But what I didn't realize was happening was whilst I was doing the activities expected for you to succeed or start to succeed in real estate and your day-to-day -day life, I was also posting it on social media. I was sharing articles, I was sharing just listed other people's mandates in the office, anything just to promote myself and hopefully get a lead whilst I was trying to hunt my own so that buyers could come to me through mandates, etc. And what I didn't realize was happening was it was all just a build up. It was that consistency that people saw, although they didn't necessarily engage with me, it was very unexpected when people said, oh, hey, Jared, I saw this or hey, I saw that. And then the uncomfortable conversations and pick and pay started to become the norm. People saw me in and around the center. They knew I was in real estate. They might have had a friend or of a friend. They maybe have liked my Facebook page from a competition I ran. So when they said, hey, Jared, how's the market? It was unbelievable. They started the conversation with me. Not that it turned into many leads at the time either, but it was conversations with people and I was starting to become front of mind. Why that was important was in my area where I'm in Westville and Kawishul, 
the average sort of experience of an agent is probably 15 years plus. So coming into it with no experience, um, the average age also slightly higher, no offense. Um, it was harder to compete because when you sat down in front of the seller that may have phoned multiple agencies for valuation, it was experience that more often than not won the mandate if it wasn't a personal relationship. So then it was how do you compete against experience? And that has to be through innovation. That has to be embracing the technologies that are available to you now that maybe the older style of real estate isn't accustomed to because it's new to them too. So you both on a level playing field. So when you're talking about Facebook and social media, you can't necessarily talk about 20 years worth of experience and that's okay because they can't talk about that versus Facebook. So it became a level playing field in that regard. But what I found myself facing then was everybody started to use it. If I look at 2017, I started doing it on Instagram. The problem with Instagram was all my friends were on it. So none of them were buyers at that stage. But what I didn't realize was happening was they would tell their parents about me or their friends or friends about me or their friends' parents. And although 2016 or back end of 2016, early 2017, didn't necessarily turn into hard leads, the conversations were still happening. So it was just a sort of compound of activity that really started to take, or make its mark, not necessarily take its toll. So in 2017, everybody was doing professional photography. Everybody was doing the sort of standard house videography. I started doing Facebook ads and that was instrumentally fantastic for me. That started producing the result a lot quicker. I started not necessarily finding sellers, but I was finding buyers for listings that previously weren't getting the inquiries on the traditional websites. So I continued with that until the industry started to catch up or they embraced it as well. But what I did have now on my side was traction and it had momentum. So heading into 2018, the start in 2015, the consistency in 2016 and 2017 started to build my momentum for 2018 because now I had three years experience, both in real estate and with social media. So it was becoming easier to sort of compete what I didn't realize is also happening, it was building a brand. And where that really exploded was in 2019. Um, I was fortunate. I was fortunate enough to find myself in an unfortunate position that forced me to get a business coach. And why that's relevant with social media and my personal brand is we broke everything down to a day-to-day -day requirement of what is expected of me in order to reach my goals. So that was as little as making phone calls, posting on social media, following up with people, committing to meeting new people, etc., etc. And that was sort of an aha moment because I had this some experience. I had consistency, I had momentum. I knew what to do because I was being reminded that if I didn't do them, I needed to do them. So I had all of this happening. And whilst business was fantastic, I had to take it to a new level. And that was done twofold. Video was number one. Something that everybody was currently doing, but what nobody had done at that stage was stand in front of the camera. And I thought, well, how do I one up this? And if anybody attended the Real Estate Industry Summit, my theme was in and around that. So what I did was sort of walked up to the camera, I introduced myself, hey, I'm Jared Jeffrey, welcome to my latest listing, and I dove into a pool. And that made my business explode. Again, not so much with sellers at the time, but other agents were talking about me, buyers were talking about it, and I was getting so much exposure on the properties that social media started to, numbers started to climb. So from a business standpoint, that was a game changer. But what really helped instill confidence in my personal brand was when I started to really be authentically me. That's when things really started to change and quite holistically, not just on a business sort of point of view where leads were generated, which turned into sales. Of course that was happening. But what it 
created was networking opportunities and good relationships and friendships that have formed from just reaching out to somebody and sharing similar stories or similar values in business. And the only or the most prominent example of that would be during the initial lockdown, myself and two other agents, Matt DeBeer and Gregor Washburn, created a group and allow Joanne Combrick created a group where we would share our experience and how we were handling lockdown, um, what our sellers were feeding, what buyers were feeding, and it was a fairly common message across the board. So then we took it one further and we started reaching out to people or agents that we knew abroad. We had the privilege of hearing from Rob Levy, amazing estate agents in Australia, and although their lockdown was unique at the time to them, similar sort of things and reservations were happening, but when they were coming out of the lockdown, we then were going to experience it, little did we know, but we had an opportunity to speak to people like Daniel Daggers, who's done north of four billion in sales in the UK. We spoke to Jordan Cohen, who's the number one Remax agent in the world. And those would never have happened if one, we didn't ask the question, or two, if we didn't share our journey on social media. And the benefit for that was immense, not because of us being able to take the information from them, but being able to share it with so many people around South Africa, where our little group of four grew to well over a hundred. And that, again, just cemented relationships who a lot of them, we still stay in touch with today and we refer business to each other and you can't put a rand value on that because it doesn't necessarily equate to one referral out, one rand in. But what it has done, it just what it has done is create confidence, um, especially in the marketplace, because they see people that are active or that are being proactive, and it gave us a solutional sort of outtake on what then was a quite a fearful situation. So None of that probably wouldn't have happened if one had a solid reputation or good presence on social media so that we could see who we were about to get into bed with or network with. But on the flip side, when you start being authentically you, again, it just cements the confidence or the intrigue for people to want to reach out or do business with you. And that's, again, not just on the business side of things, but also from a community involvement. And um, something I'm very passionate about is my area and the community. And I've since become a sponsor at Westville Boys High School. And none of that really would have ever materialized if I probably didn't start posting on Facebook then because social media has been able to accelerate my career in a short space of time that may have taken longer if it wasn't there. Because like I said, we're fighting against experience and innovation at the moment from my current experience is starting to win. Um, what's also nice is younger people are coming to the industry, they're finding it easier to get ahead or understand because there's a lot more information available at their fingertips, which has modernized the way training and things have happened, especially with Zoom, et cetera, et cetera. So it's hard to put a rand value on that, but it's also hard to say you can't not start because people are along this journey with you. And once you start, you can't stop. And that's something I see happen fairly often is it doesn't matter if you necessarily copying someone or replicating what they're doing. I'm not advocating take word for word, but if you turn an initiative that you're passionate about in your area and action it, that's okay. Because the more people that do it, the better it is for the community, the better it is for the industry, and the better it is for you at the end of the day. So when you look at it from that standpoint, it's okay if someone's doing a cleanup in your area to jump on board. In all likelihood, a residence is probably gonna issue a challenge and jump on it, but once you start, you can't stop. Similar to social media, once you start posting or once you get into a position where you're rolling with whatever content you're posting and the value you're putting out there because every post won't be a hit, you've got to keep doing it because somebody's going to read it and it's going to make sense to them on the day and it's going to turn into something for you. Whether it's a conversation, a relationship, or a transaction is unknown at the time, but you don't know who is seeing it on your screen. 
same thing. People buy into it. They love to go on the journey with you. So when somebody sees you five years ago from where you started to where you are now, that confidence is there and you're going to win 99% of the time when you get to sit in front of someone versus the person they just called in. They feel like they've known you for six years, five years, 10 years, no matter how long you've been doing it because they've followed your journey. It's just their time to either sell or buy. So when you can present and their values are more likely are going to align with yours, you're going to beat the person who's going to drum on about stats or maybe be a bit more robotic because they're following what they've just been told, if that makes sense. And if that doesn't make sense, that's okay too. But I'd encourage you to start anyways. It's going to put you into places or situations that are going to be so far out of your comfort zone, like standing here today and giving this talk. But it's an opportunity you can't say no to because you don't know who you might inspire. You don't know what relationship might come from it. You don't know that... A seller might only want to deal with someone who's given a talk on private property. I have no idea. But if that's the outcome, that's fantastic. If it's an opportunity to do something like this similar, if it's an opportunity to bounce an idea off someone, it's always going to be welcomed. And that's really the power of social media and solidifying your personal brand. And as it evolves and changes and as you grow as an agent, and quite frankly, as a person, the opportunities and the results are fairly endless, but you've got to put in the work. And that's sometimes fairly humbling because it's not always go, 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 like social media may make a book to see. And that's also okay. Um, there's been times where I've shared challenges and if anything, that's provided more solutions and pulled me away from the negativity than more so than I could ever have believed. Um, if I look at 2018, that was a fairly tough year. It was a year I wanted to get engaged, uh, thought of changing areas, sales weren't amazing. So I got a business coach and we set the goals, set the activities and put in the work and I shared that. And it was a renowning success. And um, some of it probably a bit of luck, some of it certainly down to hard work. Um, and some of it was really just the message hit the right people at the right time, which did luckily turn into sales. And it's continued to do so. If I look at how it's shaped and guided my career today, I had a change in brand and myself and a very prominent agent in the area have teamed up. And because of that, we've become the most followed partnership in the area. So we've got an incredible reach. We've got similar work ethics, similar values, and the market has reacted so well to us, it's incredible. And none of that would have ever happened or again happened so quickly if I didn't just start way back in 2015. So if you've managed to pull any sort of value from this, if you have any questions, I'm always available, whether it's on WhatsApp, Instagram, Facebook, I will always get back to you. I really hope you've enjoyed this. And just for now.